don't know the last time I vlogged. I think it was Ezra's first birthday. Hello, welcome back. Sam is on his lunch break and I just finished an Amazon Live. So I gotta go clean that up. Um, and I have to say, listen, I, naps get easier as babies get older, but, so what, okay, it was five months when he started napping consistently. So I knew beyond the shadow of a doubt, hour and a half each, I think it was, I think it's, I think it was actually when he was five months. I think he was getting three one hour naps a day. I can't remember the time of sleep. I'm gonna have to re refresh before we have this next baby. And then he moved to two hour and a half long naps a day. Now that he is a year old, it's one three hour nap. I hear a lot of moms say when their kid like no longer naps, like what am I supposed to do? I get that though, because like the one year, I mean the three hour like when it hit one year, now some babies I think it takes till 16 months, but it's, because you know, like you just know you're gonna get things done. And if there are things you absolutely have to do, you can do them within that three hour time frame. So let me show you some Amazon stuff. And then I gotta film some B-roll footage because I have about another hour and a half, hopefully until he wakes up. But I just finished my Amazon Live. Look at this hat, how pretty. This came in yesterday and I, y'all know, I've said this before, I have a really big head and I struggle to find hats. So lack of color, this is another one. So this is a just, it's a large um, from lack of color. Their hats are expensive, but they are fancy. So you can kind of see like size wise, lack of color. This one just has a little bit more like, not sag, but this is an Amazon one. And then especially this Nordstrom one, like you can see this is a very like, floppy hat and sometimes that's the goal but this literally is like hard like it is not going anywhere so this is a large I absolutely love hats y'all know if I can add a hat to it I will so I love this one but I got in this one the other day and it's a large extra large so it definitely fits my big old head I hate one size fits all for heads like what about people like me and my son we ain't got normal size heads we big ass heads so this is a large extra large and I like the way it kind of like drops in the middle it's like a straw hat but a little bit nicer so you could definitely wear this like with my outfit that I'm wearing today I mean this is definitely like a little crazy you would need to like style it up get some cute sandals tuck this in but I'm almost 23 weeks pregnant so it is what it is but like look how cute that is I don't know why y'all know I'm a hat person and they have sizes so if you have a big head lack of color I'll link this it's from Amazon I guess we're just gonna do this. I guess we're gonna share a bunch of Amazon stuff in this one. Look at these. How cute. Very funky, very different from what I usually wear. But I love them. I tried false lashes today that were from the Kiss. They're like little three individual press-ons, by the way. They're incredible. I love them. Just been all over the place. And then this is all the stuff that I shared for the Amazon Live. So what I'll actually do, instead of like going through all the details, I'll show it to you guys, but I'll link the Amazon Live below. It's kind of like a YouTube video. You can go back and watch it. And, um, the only real difference between it being live and you watching playback is that the deals may not be the same, um, but that's not a huge deal. So I need to film. So anyway, I've got this black 10 inch vase that's round and absolutely gorgeous. I have some B-rolls to film, so I gotta like keep all this out. This little set of two here, how gorgeous. You could use these for decor or you could actually use them as vases. I had this faux eucalyptus in it that is absolutely gorgeous. You could put these faux hydrangeas in there. These say they're silk. I would not say these are real faux silk or like real silk. Um, I'd say they're just, you know, faux flowers, but they're not that true silk. I linked coffee table book we talked about. This is like a true Chanel coffee table book. It's really gorgeous. It's got the white sides. So when you have that displayed, looks really good. Tulips. Got a little tray here that we're going to keep at the new house and jewelry um, organizer. So I got to put all this up after I film the B-roll stuff. And I have to send stuff to my editor. I'm trying to like, that is one thing though. You know you have three hours, but you have three hours. If you don't get it done, you'll have to do it with a toddler. And one is something else. Let me tell you, today he literally made 
direct eye contact with me. Ezra looks me dead in the eyes. And he like lays, I could tell exactly what he was doing. He goes and lays himself on the ground, like real flat, like on his back. And he like looked up at me to make sure I was looking. And he goes, <coughs> and like threw a temper tantrum. I was like, sir, you just slowly put yourself on the floor so you didn't hurt yourself. Drama. Drama. So Sam is making burgers for tonight. Ezra's dirtying up everything that was just cleaned. And this is what our living room looks like. <laughs> Salem's like, how did we get here? But I don't know. I don't know. He loves these toys though. He got these for his birthday. They are these. They're I think from Target. It's like uh, matching dinos and it helps with, what is it? Matching skills and color recognition. And they can like be basically pulled. I don't know, I'm gonna be able to do it with one hand. But you can basically pull them apart and then like, you know, pair different ones together and then have your baby um, try and match them up. They're for 18 month plus, but right? Yeah, but it's okay. That's what I spent my day doing. plan was to start this vlog a little bit earlier but I wanted to make sure I got everything done and I have 15 minutes left so Ezra is the world's best sleeper he sleeps from 7 30 to 7 30 and so I talked about this I think maybe on my main channel or just Instagram I'm not sure um, but I shared that I'm training or I have trained at this point myself to be a morning person I know that they say it takes like I think it's 75 days or something to form a habit but my body as far as my internal clock goes takes about a week oh, oh. <laughs> y'all a baby with a posterior placenta those kicks rock different Whew, out of my bladder and my hips and everything. So anyway, um, my body, my internal clock takes about a week and it's always been like that. And sure enough, now I wake up at five, it's 528 every morning. I don't know what it is about that time, but it's 528 on the dot. This morning it was actually 415 because I had pregnancy insomnia. And I just figured in the month of April, I was going to finally stop like using the excuse of like, I'll just do it when Ezra wakes up because one, it's significantly harder to get up and get ready with a baby, especially a toddler who wants to be all in your stuff. And two, I was finding myself getting later getting ready later and later and later in the day and it just wasn't conducive to a productive schedule so i've been getting up early and it has been amazing like to be up and just get the peace and quiet which i don't really get that much when ezra especially ezra and sam are home um i get why mothers who wake up before their kids constantly talk about waking up before their kids because it is a dream like walking around in the house is silent and it's just you and your coffee oh, it is unmatched is it hard to get up sometimes yes but it is amazing like what it does for your brain. So um, I finished getting ready. It is 7.18. Bed is also made. I try to empty the dishwasher first because starting the day, that's what my mom always taught me. Like you, um, when you have people come over, when you leave for vacation, I mean, when you leave for vacation, your house needs to literally not have like not one ounce of dust in it. But like when you have people come over, your dishwasher needs to be empty because it's just easier that way. When you start your day, your dishwasher needs to be empty because when you do that, the rest of your day is just easier because you're not having to empty this and you have a sink full of dishes that you're also having to deal with. It's all just, it's like you put it away once. So I'm going to go get dressed now. Um, and I just have to put up these last, this is it. Like this is all I have to put up. And um, the whole point to this vlog I actually was going to do was like a little prep, how I basically prep for the week last night. We'd like to start out, like I'll show y'all just kind of an overview. Like only thing I have on the counter is stuff I've gotten out this morning. Like our house, we break down our house or what is it called? We put our house back to, or we put our house back. I don't know what it's called. We like put our house back together every single night. We don't ever go to bed with things on the floor because my husband has OCD and he literally won't sleep. Um, but we just, it makes the day start easier. So we always start loading the dishwasher at nighttime. Coffee gets made. Um, I prepped yesterday, y'all saw my breakfast for the week. 
I hate touching, especially food that I'm not gonna eat instantly, but that's one of my favorite breakfasts, so I prepped that. I didn't get a chance to prep my quinoa for the week, um, but we always like to do those things for the week just to like get the house kind of ready, make sure we've deep cleaned everything. Like we really take time to clean the house on Sundays. And then every single day, bed gets made, dishwasher's emptied in the morning, vacuum gets ran. We have the Roomba, so I'm not personally having to vacuum or we have the UV. Um, and I think, as far as like daily stuff, that's kind of, I think that's kind of it. Let's see, this is all ready dirty. This is from uh, Sam making his breakfast today. This is my cup of coffee. We're starting the day out right. It is Monday, so my mom is coming to get Ezra at eight o'clock and we'll be good to go. Look, look at this dog. Spoiled. Oh, <laughs> yep, that would be an awake baby. He does this now. He like, he, it's like he hit, I wanna say he was like 10 months old and he no longer cries in relation to sleep unless he's overtired. Like he'll wake up. The only way we know is if he does stuff like that. Like I can hear him on the monitor playing in his crib. He would just sit in there all morning quietly. It's so funny. Good morning. What are you doing? Good morning. Hi baby. Good morning. You definitely pooped in that diaper. I can literally smell it. How did you sleep? Did you sleep good? Oh my goodness, hello. Do you want your bottle? Which one, you want your bottle? Here. Okay, I'll hold your passy for you. You don't have to do it. Oh my goodness. Give me that big boy. Did I get passy? Oh. Hi. Do you see good? You want to look at that? Say hi! <laughs> okay, that was a little aggressive. Well, looks like those canines are in. But now we're going to spend some time together before Gigi gets here. And I'm going to turn the camera off. Because I want to spend, come here and love on me. I want to spend some quality time with me. Oh my gosh. I can't, you gonna do it? Walk on it. Whoa. So I'm not sure if I've showed you guys that we have the rest of it like sitting in that box, but they had to get a higher, like a taller one to cover. So it'll be black. Whoa. Office doors are in. They won't have this film over them. That's just plastic. And they'll be painted white. And there's the porch. Oh my gosh. Can you even see it? I'm gonna walk out there. Can, can I? I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I was about to say it looks like you screwed it in. Well, front porch is poured. And so is the back porch. Now we're gonna have it completely closed in. Oh God, we're not gonna be able to walk on any of it. I wanted to walk on it to come in. I came down here so excited to go out there. Dang it. No, I'm not. Oh, well, it looks pretty. Dang, come it. And paint starts tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Ah. Sure, the last time I vlogged in here, to be completely honest, I don't know. I think there was trim up, like there's, I think almost all the trim is done. And then I think I've showed you guys this, like our tub is in, coming to finish, hopefully this week. All that really needs to be done is grout. And then all the little sides here. But I love, 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 love the tile. I cannot wait. Dang it, I really wanted to like walk out there. You like the apple? Even bite anything, you silly it's nice boy. And juicy, like, yeah. <laughs> Tastes good. I what I vlogged in this one, but we are home. Our house is a disaster because the baby just whatever. So 
concrete looks good and tomorrow starts exterior paint. I'm so excited. So thank y'all for watching. See you in the next vlog.